In today's lesson, we're talking about systems of equations. Remember, a system is made up of more than one equation. There's three ways of solving systems of equations. The first is by graphing. Make sure you take some time and watch the video on solving systems of equations by graphing. Our second method that we're going to be learning about is the substitution method. Substitution method is exactly what it sounds. Substituting in one variable for the other. Let's go ahead and try it out. As we can see here, we have y is equal to x plus 2 in the first equation, then we have y is equal to 2x minus 1. The first thing I always like to do is I like to number my equations. Call the first one equation 1, and the second one equation 2. It allows me just to think about it as a number. So here we go. We can see that y is actually equal to x plus 2. In the substitution method, you always want to have one of your variables isolated. When you have a variable isolated, for example, y is equal to x plus 2, we can go ahead and plug that in for the second one. What am I talking about here? I'm going to go ahead and take equation number 2 here, and that's why I like to number it, which is y is equal to 2x minus 1. Okay, in equation 1, I already know what y is equal to. It's actually equal to x plus 2. Therefore, in equation 2, I'm going to take out my y, and I'm going to substitute it for what y equals. What does y equal? x plus 2. So I take out my y, and I substitute x plus 2. Again, because y is equal to x plus 2, and then I write the rest of the equation. Now you may be asking yourself, well, why are you doing that? Well, look, now I have x on one side and x on the other. Now we're just working with one variable, and that's exactly what we want to do, because now we just follow our steps for solving equations. We get the variables on the same side, so I subtract x from both sides, and I get 2, 2x minus, remember we can put a 1 there, minus 1x gives me x, minus 1, I add 1, so I can isolate x, and I get x is equal to 3. How was I able to do that? I did it by substituting what y equals, which I found out in equation 1, and I substituted it in equation 2, x plus 2, because that's what y equals. Therefore, I was able to just work with x with one variable, and I found out that x is equal to 3. Okay, good. I'm going to go ahead and erase some work here, and we're just going to go ahead and put x is equal to 3 up here. Now, we were able to find that out in equation 2. That's why I really like it that you guys number it. Now that you have that, we go back to equation 1, and we just substitute in our box or our value in for x. Why for x? Because we know what x equals. So I take my equation 1, and I always like to rewrite it. And what am I going to do now? I have x is equal to 3, so plug that in for x. So we get y is equal to, what is x? x is 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 gives me 5. Therefore, I was able to solve for y. Don't worry, I know substitution method always looks a little more difficult in the beginning, but we're going to go ahead and take some time. Now, your answer should always be written as a coordinate point, meaning our x is 3, so I always put my x first, and my y is 5. Therefore, the solution to this system of equations is x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5. 